a high all we'll be looking at the mock catch quant 688 strategy in this particular video uh, if you like this please do hit the like button in case you haven't subscribed already please do subscribe to our channel and let's look at this quant 688 strategy it's a proven strategy it's worked for people brilliantly and it's going to really work for you if you put this to good use right so first up who is this mock cat 688 strategy for right uh, it's not for a person who is getting 14 correct or 40 plus marks right in the test uh, it's it's more for the people who are not getting to that 30 35 36 marks right if you're not able to hit that those of you who are there with you know uh, less than 10 marks some of you at single digit some of you at like you know uh, between 10 and 20 uh, this is for you right if your marks are low and you feel that you have missed out on easy questions yes this video is for you right if you feel that you know you're able to solve questions after the test but during the test you are getting stuck yes this video is for you uh, if, if you're not able to see all the questions somewhere like you know i was able to see till 16 i was going sequentially but the last six questions i couldn't see because uh, the timer ran out and um, some easy questions were there yeah uh, please do use the strategy uh, poor time management got stressed out or i'm making silly mistakes in a hurry right so this video is there for you people right please look to use this and in this particular video we'll look into we'll understand the cat pawn section better we will also see as to how to put the strategy to use after i explain that and towards the end of it uh, there's a youtube video another one where i have actually done that right in a live class a live section that's been put up for you as well a mock art class uh, so do see as to how it has been implemented and how much you can score right we set a target of about six questions correct there we ended up with 12 questions correct and uh, that's the strategy which you have to use right to crack this test once again this is not as to how this, this is not the way i approach the exam uh, with my percentile of 99.99 i don't need to because i'll be answering most of the questions now this is a strategy which you should adopt in your exams uh, to make sure that you get to that you know 99th percentile this is a strategy to get to 99th percentile please pay attention to it now let's first understand the cat pawn section what is this about how many questions are there 22 questions in the current format 2021 cat 2021 2022 and 2023 is expected of that right so 22 questions in the section should i answer all of them no 11 questions correct is getting you to your 99 plus percentile right that's how it's been so do i need to answer all of them no half of them super good right um so first up it's not like a school exams you get 50 percent marks you're at 99 plus percentile in school exams what is it you need to score all of them, them right right most of them almost all of them you have to answer you can't do that anymore get the school mindset out no step marks here no point writing detailed steps page after page and all of that right so pick and choose the questions go for the easy questions because all questions over here carry the same number of marks three marks whether it's easy medium or hard it's the same so i need to pick the easy ones and i have to answer them correctly because there are negative marks involved right so you need to choose the questions correctly so remember not every one of them need to be answered if you're really aiming for that super high mark please go ahead with your strategy which is working already if you're at 40 plus marks i don't want you to adopt this if you're less than 40 right look out for this and use this to get to that then you know what this exam is about and how to take this right now there is this last part which you need to pay attention to this last line over here there is no perfect way of taking the test uh, me with my percentile of 99.99 and quant it is i did not take it perfectly right there was time there were questions where i wasted time um, there were times where i felt i should have let go of something i didn't uh, there were questions where i used the wrong approach and then had to correct it there were questions there were parts where i made a silly mistakes and a silly mistake and i had to correct that part as well so uh, with this percentile if this is the case understand that everybody is going to waste time in choosing some question or the other it's not a question of you getting stuck or wasting time it's a question of how you bounce back from that that's what this test is about don't chase a perfect test right don't chase it at all uh, especially for those of you who feel my verbal went bad it affected my dlr no it shouldn't it's a different thing it's over right under the carpet next move uh, dlr was bad it affected my quant no you might think it's bad probably everybody for everybody it was tough right so remember that no perfect way of taking the test this is completely different from your school exams yeah so what's the 688 strategy about for cat quant right i'm going to break it into three rounds you're just finishing your dlr section and coming in you're 40 minutes tell yourself for the first 10 minutes i'm going to look at six questions the first six questions i'm going to choose one to two of them and attempt them that's enough for me i'm in the happy zone right 
You get one to two, correct? You're pretty much in the 80 to 90 percentile you're hitting. Sectional cutoffs are clear for almost every college. That's good. How much time should I spend to choose those questions, right? Those one to two easy ones. I would say three minutes. Give yourselves three minutes, not more than that. I would say put, to put this to use, those of you who are severely affected already, who are not scoring well in mocks and all of that, and you feel whatever I uh, stated earlier, the start of this video, if that is true for you. Tell yourself three minutes is the max time available for me to choose. Don't hurry. Don't do it very quickly. I see people who do it very fast. Don't do that. Yeah. Round two, tell yourself for the next 15 minutes, right? Now, first 10 minutes, urgency, because you finish DLR, you're getting to a different section. Uh, you need to be a little alert. Then you can say 15 minutes for the next eight questions. I will give myself about maximum of four minutes to choose my two to three questions I'm going to attempt, right? You can actually attempt more if you use this. And for the last 15 minutes, you would have done the math by now, eight questions and four minutes to select. So what is this? I'm saying break down the 688 as 10, 15, 15. And within those 10, 15, 15, the first three to four minutes can go into selection of questions. Max of that. Over time, it will reduce. In the first few sections you're trying, give yourself that time to select and you'll see the difference already. Why? You're actually going to be giving enough time to choose the correct questions and not rush in, right? Rush past. Let's see if you have enough. I mean, if those of you are going to be selecting, let's say, six at a go, uh, within, within half a minute, I see a lot of them doing, right? And let's look look at the first six questions of my own paper from CAT 2022, uh, slot two, right? So let's look at it. So question one, if you're looking at it, 15,000 factual, factual, n factual, whole factual, very difficult. I don't want to do this. Next one, arithmetic revolution, 3, 7, 11, sigma, something. I don't know what to do. Okay, next one. Okay, Pinto inverse, one-fifth of the capital, 6%. Okay, might want to do, but wait, one-fifth, one-third, and all of that simple interest. Too many percentages over here. Next one, polygons. Oh, my God, geometry. I don't know if I know it. Length of equilateral, right? I want to avoid geometry. Then I go to this, I see some big numbers, 4,000, 5,500, 3,500. Okay, I probably will start with this ratios. Two simple ratios are given. But what if I don't know the concept at all, right? These are the issues which happen for students. If this is how your mind or somewhere around this it's working, you're going very fast. You have to slow down. You have to slow down. Now, how do we review it? Let's look at a way. Let's say you have three minutes right now. For some natural number n, okay, any natural number, assume that 15,000 factorial is divisible by n factorial whole factorial. 15,000 is a big number. Answer options are very small, 4, 6, 7, 5. And I have n factorial whole factorial. Okay, if one factorial is divisible by another, the other factorial, the denominator should be smaller. And I have 15,000 factorial. My n factorial whole factorial should be smaller than that. Ignore the factorials. 15,000 is more than n factorial. n factorial is 4 factorial is 24, 6 factorial is 720, 5040, 120. If you remember them, now you can use the calculator. I can answer this. At this moment itself, you'll know that you know the answer is going to be option 3, 7. Go to the next. Sigma, 1 by 25 or something is a big number. I don't think, I think it's going to be a little tough, right? 3, 7, 11, arithmetic progression. I have to add up um, some of the first n terms. For the sum of terms, I have to add them up and sigma and all of that's going to be a lot. Here I have a percentage, a percentage and a percentage, one fifth of something at this percent, one third at this percent. Simple interest as well. Okay. Number of years required for the interest income to exceed the capital. I think I know it and I can do it. I can assume a value also because percentages, right? I can take the total as 1500, one fifth and one third. I think the approach I know. If you're prepared for geometry and you know the formula, this might be easy. Regular polygons, right? Sides in the ratio 1 is to 2. I can take n and 2n, one variable. I need to find the number of sides of b. 2n I need to find. Interior angles are in the ratio 3 is to 4. Interior angle. Sum of interior angles formula is 180 into n minus 2. Each interior angle regular polygon I have to divide by n. I can do this for sure, right? And then the length of each side of an equilateral triangle ABC is 3 centimeters, okay? D be a point, area of triangle, prepared for geometry, then with square root over here and all, you might want to do this. I might want to choose it. Manu earns 4,000 per one month and wants to save an average of 550 per month. In the first nine months, his monthly expense was 3,500. I want an average of this. 550 per month for 12 months is 6,600. First nine months savings is given to me. Then 10th month onwards, something is happening. Looks like an easy one. I'd want to do the sixth one. Sixth for sure. I might start with the sixth. I might then go for the third. 
or the first is already done. One, three, six are already there. Two, probably not. Um, four, I know the concept. I'm going to definitely do it. Uh, five as well, I can try out, right? So you can just go ahead with it. That's it. I'm saying this could be your approach for the first few sections. Not every section you have to go so slow. But what you'd be observing over here is certain very, very important things. That is, when you're spending time to select, you are not wasting time, right? That comes with a little bit of maturity and you observing this, right? You're not actually wasting time over here. You're thinking about the correct approaches, right? That's a big difference over there, right? So people think that you're wasting time if you're just looking at it. No, you're spending time to think about the correct approaches. So being quick over here is not about super fast, super quick calculations. It's about choosing the correct approach. If I tell you to go from place A to place B, it's not about picking the quickest vehicle. It's about understanding the quickest path. There might be a shortcut, a lane through which you have to walk by and you can reach there. If you take a car, you might have to go roundabout, right? So uh, be, being quick over here is knowing the quickest approach that comes if you spend time on the questions and observe them. You're also solving questions, right? We, we were not only just looking at the question, we're thinking about how to solve and solving them as well. It's time saved, right? As a result, what are we doing? Uh, what's it helping us with? We are choosing the easy questions. We are picking the correct approaches. And the most important part is we're willing to let go and we're not getting stuck, right? Which is when you start implementing it for the next seven minutes, you will let go of some questions. Uh, let's say you picked the question you thought was easy, but when you're solving it, you found it to be too tough. You'll say, you know what, I'm going to let go of it. I'm going to move to the next. I'll come back to it in case it's going to be, um, uh, you know, uh, if, if there's still time, right? I don't want to get stuck because I know there are two more easy questions waiting for me. I've seen them, all right? So that should be your thing. Now, as I said at the start, uh, we have made a video for you. It's there in the description below, right? A live sectional test, which we had in our own class at MockCat, where we use the 688 approach. Some of you might feel that, you know, I wasted a lot of time discussing with students and how to take it during the test, right? A lot of students speaking as to how to solve it. It wasn't about me taking it my way, right? You don't need my mark. Uh, you need to have a good enough a mark, which you are happy with. And what's a good enough a mark? A 99 percentile with about half of them correct. We set a target of 18 marks, right? Six correct to start with. We achieved 36 marks, right? So do check that. A lot of videos on YouTube. I've seen that on how, you know, a topper, 100th percentile or like 99.9 .9 plus percentile is taking a section, right? Um, how is that going to help you? I, I mean, it will serve as some motivation for sure and would want you to push towards preparation. But can you use those strategies? Uh, probably not, right? Uh, what you have over here is what you can use and it's really going to help you, right? But once again, do subscribe to this channel in case you haven't and do like and share this video with your friends as well, right? And I'll see you people soon in the next video.